But yeah, man, that bad spirit that uh, that the men, you know, had back then, we gotta make sure we don't have that shit. Um, back in the 30s and 40s and, and 50s, how they just, you know, like women didn't really have a voice, you know, they had to, you know, they, they had to do their little march to, to vote and all that shit. If you just think about it, if the men just appreciated them a little bit more, we probably wouldn't have any of these feminist issues. But that's another podcast <laughs> for another day, for another day. I'm not even going to go there because I know me and Joe going to get blooded messages. Fuck you, Robin. Da, 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 da. Whatever, whatever. You want to you wanna message me that? Go ahead. And I'll, take, I'll, I'll message you right back with the F you. But um, I'm like, I got a hemorrhoid right now. Like, in my uh, hemorrhage, hemorrhoid, whatever the fuck it is that women get when they get pregnant, you know, and, and that shit killing me. And my wife looked at it and she was like, oh my God, man, that shit is so little compared to the one that I got. Like, and you whining about that shit. I'm like, yo, that shit hurt. I got constipation in my blood. That shit is whack as fuck. So basically, you got, I got a little ball in my fucking ass. So that shit fucking hurts. I know that shit just- Yo, Robbie, you that got little pill I had when I was a kid. <laughs> what is wrong you with you? I had when I was a, uh, a kid. And then Junior they, out here talking about what you <laughs> they, took the, no. they took a pill. They took this a pill not, and they shoved this, it in there. They this took. is not worthy <laughs> of talking about it live. You gotta <laughs> stop <laughs> that shit now. Uh -huh. Stop that shit. I felt violated. I felt violated at so, that point. Yeah, right. So, so <laughs> but Joe, I'm going, this with, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going somewhere with this, Joe. The reason why I said that is because if that's what women go through when they're pregnant, God damn, salute to them. If that shit is worse than what I'm feeling with constipation and they go through that shit, God damn it. You know, let them have a little voice. Let them, let them, let them talk, Joe. You know what I'm saying? Be, be respectful to them. Like, you know, let, let, let them do something. Let them be happy too. You know what I'm saying? You can't just eat everything and you don't share. Come on, man. You know what I mean? But like, like what you know, what we're, what we're telling Junior is that to get away from this yes man shit, you know, and all these other guys that are going through it. First of all, you need to know what the fuck your life's purpose is. You need to realize that you're high value. But if you're not high by high value, how do you make yourself high value? You need to you need to study content that will help you get um help you um attain that knowledge to be high value. Is your integrity good? Are you a man of your word? When you come around, do people say, fuck, this guy's around, I, I gotta get around him. Or are, are you the guy who commands the room? People just respect you honestly. Like, I, I, I'm su I surprised myself. I've had some scary looking motherfuckers that say, hey, Robin, when I first saw you, you intimidated me. I'm like, what the fuck? I intimidated you? You fucking intimidated me. You fucking look scary as hell. Uh, I, 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 I get your face and all that shit. That's I, I get the I get the same thing. People say when I walk when I walk into the room, they feel my presence and then yeah, yeah. Without and then like when they first see me, they think I'm I'm an asshole. Or I, I be like, bro, I be chilling. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't I don't judge no fucking body because I ain't I ain't the mm -hmm. person that needs to do the judging. I leave that up to God. I mm -hmm. just worry about myself and what I could do every day to better myself. That is it. Exactly. And so, you know, Junior, like, you got you, you to gotta work to get that presence in your spirit because you're going to need it. Because I tell you what, man, we're about to have this baby. You're going to go through some tough-ass times. You're going to be tired and you're going to have to hold it. You're going to have to figure out how to put this shit to sleep, the baby to sleep, and you just like... Fuck! What am I? This nigga Joe saw everything that I did. We're, we're not calling. We're not calling your baby shit, but we're just saying. Yeah. It's put it to sleep. <laughs> Very hard to put your baby to sleep. Yeah. So Junior, you 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 get ready. But like I said, man, you know, lead that shit. You know, my homeboy. He's like an OG. I wanted to get him on this podcast, but he's probably asleep right now. But my boy E, he told me a man has two roles in this fucking world. To protect and to provide, and I and, and when he said that shit to me, I'm like, God damn, nigga, you know what? You got a point. If a man at least understands those two basics right there, he's going far. Fuck, if I gotta provide, that means I need to make money. How am I gonna make money? Am I trying to make basic money, or am I trying to make some life changing money? What what what, what 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 path am I trying to go? As a man, you need to get in the car that's going that's gonna take you where you need to fucking go. You need to figure that shit out. Like, Junior, you need to sit down with your girl and you need to say, babe, this is what I want. I want us to have this big house, or maybe she wants a big house. You're like, okay, babe, this is what we gonna do to get this big house. Like, for me, I told my wife, I'm gonna go get a CDL because I realized if I get my CDL, that puts me at 60,000. 
uh, eighty thousand dollars a year coming right out of school, and that's fucking good. If I get two years of experience, they're already gonna offer me a hundred grand a year. Walmart's hiring one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year, and all you need is two years of experience. One hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. That's why I always tell people, go fucking get your CDL. <laughs> you missing this, out. This, this, that's another way to, to not be a. That's another way to not be a yes man and to actually like have your own. Like if, uh-huh. if, if 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 you're a guy and you come into a relationship and you have everything, you have your your money on check, you got your car on check, you got your, your like your your house on check. Uh, the woman is always going to respect you for that. You know Period. they can't come in and try to be like oh try to run you. Like I got I'm the provider. Cause they coming into because they coming into your shit. You yeah, can't I'm run the that provider. Shit. You coming in my yeah. shit, so now you gonna put some yeah. respect on my name. You gonna that's put some fucking respect but that's, on my name. Like, but that's, you but that's different. So so you gonna uh, listen so, to what the fuck I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. So since we're talking, since we, so since we're talking about how with the as far as like with the yes man and things of that nature, let's let's go let's dive in let's dive into a resolution as far as like how can you get rid of that? Like I know I know for for I know for myself when it came to that whole yes man situation, I had to go through like hell and high wa- hell and high water for that shit, and I had to lose a lot. I had to break down. I had to reinvent myself find myself all over again up until I figured out at least a bit and piece of part of me in order for me to get out of that shit. So my situation was a little was a little crazy. But how 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 can how can we come to a solution? How can we get rid of how can we get rid of that whole yes man mentality? I mean you really you really just have to go through that breaking point. You know, once once you figure out enough is enough, your mind just go automatically transition. You're he, he gonna be like, man, I can't deal with this shit no more. Like, I can't, I can't continue being that that nice guy that people running over and and taking advantage of because at the end day, it's breaking your spirit. It's, it's it's fucking your mind up. You know, the minute that 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 you lose who you are, you know, like no, you're the only one that could find yourself again. Like, so at that at at that point, you just have to make sure. You know, you know the type of person that you is. Like, like, like Robin said, you have to get that knowledge so that way you could feel like you the shit. The minute that you feel like you the shit, can't no one break you. Can't no one. Can't can't no one um, try to try to run you, and and you're not gonna be a yes man at that point because you know you the shit. Uh-huh. No, you're right. Dude. You value like you value yourself more. You know, so so. With that, you just have to just just practice, practice, you know, practice loving yourself and and showing yourself like, like yo, I'm better than what whatever that person is is treating me. I'm better than 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 everything that's going on around me right now. You know. Yeah, and you gotta figure out. This is so deep. Like, if you're a yes man, how you 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 won't make it anywhere, man. Like. Think about it. We're not talking about. We're not talking about that, man. We're oh yeah, yeah. We talking. We talking, no we way, talking about. We talking about. You know how to get rid of it, man. We you know, know, know you ain't gonna make it nowhere if you a yes man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said conclusion. You saying what's the yeah. resolution? The resolution. Yeah, I, the resolution is. You. This is this is crazy. When you're a yes man, you you you're being selfish, man. There's so many people. So many people's happiness depends on you, not being a yes man. That's that's why you don't be one. Like, uh, oh, man, that's how deep that shit is. You're, okay. you, you need a spirit to carry you through adversity. And if you're so passive and you just let people walk all over you all the fucking time, you, yo, that spirit ain't touching you, man. You, you have to overcome things over and over and over again. Like, Junior, as a, as a man, if there's an obstacle that comes your way, you have to be like, yo, I'm, yo, this, this shit, I just got hit right now, but I'm about to fucking haymaker this shit. I'm about to Mike Tyson KO this shit. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get my ass whooped anymore. Like, that there was so many times when I was trying to get, when, when I was out there in that fucking parking lot and they were like, Robin, this is how you re- reverse this big ass truck or you parallel park. And I just couldn't fucking get it. I was stressed. I was screaming. I was punching the steering wheel like, fuck. Am I ever going to get this shit? And so you can bitch and moan for just two minutes. And after that, dust it off and let's go again. Try again. Try again. Mm-hmm. 
every man needs to have that I'm not going to quit spirit within them. And if they don't, and if they don't know how to get it, first start your morning off when you wake up, listen to something motivation. You want to get your spirit in that direction? When you get up, have a routine. Listen to something motivational so when you wake up and you start your day, you're like, okay, nothing is going to fucking bring me down today. And if it is going to bring me down, I'm picking myself back up. You need to have some kind of routine. Are you, do you, do you meditate in the shower? Do you, whatever the fuck that works for you. You know running what I'm saying? Running, early in the morning, go running. Running go thing. Because that thing. right there will automatically clear your mind early in the morning just to start your day. Running, drink, drink, drink some water, clear your mind up. Mm -hmm. You know, think mm -hmm. positive, think positive. I was reading, I'm actually reading this book right now, man, and it's so deep. And it was saying the law of affirmation. What yep. you what you think is what's going to happen. Like if you think positive, you go get positive. If you think negative, it's gonna get negative. Like for for my whole car situation that night, that night, you know, I was negative in my mind. I was negative in my mind. You know, even though my car my car had no issue that day, I was negative. I'm like, like I randomly I started thinking bad. The next day, things got worse. The car was fucked up. Uh huh. You know, you just you you have to think positive. You have to think positive. You want to be a millionaire. If you want to be a millionaire, you want to be be a be a person that's not a yes man. You have to you have to put in your mind, yo, I'm gonna get my money. I'm a I'm gonna be be that millionaire. You know, I'm gonna break that 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 cycle of 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 not being be being wealth in the family. Mm -hmm. You know, make sure you generational curse. Right, that generational yeah, yeah. curse. Yeah. Uh -huh. For you, that's what's even deep, Junior. You are fighting the spirit that your dad just gave up on, and now as his son, you got it, and now you see it. Now it's like, okay, now me and Joe are gonna watch to see how you box this shit out in the ring. <laughs> It's either you're going to get knocked out and you're going to try to call me and Joe. We ain't answering the phone because we ain't got time to keep hearing that shit. I can't hear a guy who doesn't fight. I can't hear a guy who just lays over and just lets his family suffer, his dreams suffer. I can't hear that shit. Sometimes I tell my homeboys what I'm trying to do with the trucks and they get negative. They're like, yo, what the fuck? You just started. You're not going to get this big money. You're not going to get this and that. And I'm like, what the fuck? You don't understand. I wrote a whole bunch of shit down on my fucking notebook. A lot of it is coming true. This is all you do when they do that. This all this right this right this right here is all you do when they do that shit. Give them a round of applause. Give them a round of applause. I like that shit. I like that shit. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it. I like that shit. Keep it coming. Exactly. Next thing you know, I me me be right next to them. You trying to join my company? I need drivers. And, and that's, so, that's what I'm saying. And, and, and Junior, you know, that's why that's why I'm always telling you about that shit, dog. Like, nigga, it took me seven weeks to get that shit. That's a quick ass investment, dog. Like, nigga, that I tell you what, that shit that should change the game for you because the transportation industry is not going anywhere. It's always gonna be needed, and that's the thing. Now I gotta go now. I gotta now go you need you need to you need to watch out though. I'm not gonna lie to you because they're making a lot of cars that are running electric right now like as far as that goes this is a whole different topic you guys but that'd be expensive for these you, you you yeah but they're they're doing they're, a lot of a lot of cars right now obviously tesla you see tesla tesla's to market to the roof everybody likes tesla right now but they just came out with a brand new um electric audi today mm -hmm. they came out with a brand new electric audi and they have other trucks smaller trucks, not like the 18 wheelers, but they have other trucks that are like box trucks that are running electric as well. So they're starting to do a lot of trucks that are manufacturing electrically. And they have some of these trucks where they are manufacturing without drivers as well. So as far as like the trucking business, you could purchase, but you may want to start purchasing those trucks that are run electric, electrical, because then it's, it's, it's cheaper. It's going to be expensive, obviously, when you're first buying it with the prototypes, but then it's going to be cheaper later on in life. So those are just things to watch out for as far as no, like no, the you're right. You're right. industry no. when it you comes to transportation. Over. Yeah, you can take over. Uh, it can yeah. take over. That, and, and Joe, I think about that shit a lot. It, it could it could take over. But for the time being, because right now everyone's like, fuck, it hits somebody, that company getting sued, all that, all types <laughs> of shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, dog, Junior, like, what I was going to say is, you just you just need to have a plan, you know, 
you don't want to be yes man you gotta you gotta have a plan you gotta have a plan for your life you gotta have a plan for you you gotta have a plan for you for your for for your uh for um for you to be in shape you 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 just you gotta have a plan for for everything okay if somebody starts talking shit what do i do yo yo if um if if i start struggling uh financially can i still live in this nice place or do i have to get a second job or do maybe i gotta downsize it's my pride a bit too big for me to do that mike there's 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 so much do i like this person in my circle or should i just kind of distance myself because they're too they're too negative. Believe it or not, dog, if you got a friend that speaks negative into a dream you just said, that shit could happen too. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta like kind of hang up in their face. <laughs> they're trying to hear the bullshit that they No, nah, no, nah, I have I, me me personally, I have friends that's like that. I have friends that that if you tell them about something, oh you doing that? Oh no, that shit trash. Don't Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they you know it's funny it. and it. they've never tried it but they've got they every damn so damn every negative to say that's my mother-in-law oh my god dog this negative 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 nancy I'm always right. some bullshit to say like i said dog this is what you do right here man <laughs> don't even bother hey, you just clap it up keep it up keep it up, keep uh, it up. and remember haters, the most haters, important are the thing are the best supporters right in the bet in the most important thing you know, is when you're a yes man, make sure the way you go about it makes you happy. It must make you happy because if it doesn't make you feel good, like like uh-huh. I'm talking like you're, you're like, oh shit, this is not the way like like you like you and you and Joe say I'm aggressive. But just because I'm aggressive doesn't mean you have to be aggressive. Maybe you might have a different approach and it might just work and I might learn from you. You know what I mean? Like you just you damn right. I'm aggressive. I'm to teach, I try to teach you every day. I, I, just, I, I do it on the podcast. I do it live too. I be like, yo, why you come on, chill, okay? I'm aggressive. A little aggressive here. You look aggressive. Yeah, you, see, you, you don't, don't gotta come that rough. You don't gotta come that rough, dog. You you, you, come that I mean, rough, that's, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. When it's time for me to, you know, you know, get get where I need to get to. Trust me, I'll let you know how I feel. But sometimes, you know, just it, you know, it's, it's 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 from. I, I guess all of that rage comes from not being the alpha when you always knew that you were the alpha. I'm talking about high school. You knew what the football team needed to do, and them boys just didn't have it in you, and you knew what to fucking say, but you were such a pussy you didn't say it. Like, I'm talking about this shit goes back, man. I was always that shy kid in school. I didn't want to raise my hand. Yeah. I would be in the back. So that aggressiveness comes from all the rage because my spirit's angry at me because I was, I, I was too You're timid. Timmy, and so yeah. yeah, so I'm coming off aggressive because my spirit's like, yeah, I'm finally free. You know what I mean? Like, because <laughs> it wasn't yeah. for the longest. I that's that's, that's 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 some of that's some of the thing. That's some of, that's one thing that I that I wish I had out of you because mm-hmm. I know like I have the part where I control it and I go back and forth, but I'm still more timid than anything. I'm not as aggressive as how I should be, and I wish I had that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. That's something I wish I had. I, I've tried to work on it, but you gonna get it. Mm-hmm. You gonna get it eventually because one day you're just gonna get like Junior say you gonna get sick of it, and eventually you go like I say you gonna you gonna figure it out. You can write it on the wall and look at it every day, and it, it'll come. It, it it'll come. Like here's let me see if you if you real if you worked on it. You still giving that guy a ride to work every day? No. Nah. <laughs> Cut it out. Yeah, he he won. He got fired. <laughs> so, that's on him. He got fired. You got get mad. You're like, fuck, I gotta give this guy a fucking ride. You got tired of doing <laughs> yeah, I, 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 There's times where I kept telling him I couldn't do it. He was like, man, just. Uh, he's like, all right, man. And then for a while, he just, next thing you know, I hear he got fired. I'm like, damn. Shit crazy. <laughs> you were literally all he depended on. He didn't even depend on himself. You see that big yeah, mistake right there? That, that's one thing I try to avoid, man. Like, you know, whenever whenever I need help from somebody, you know, if I could do it myself, you know, I won't ask you because I know for a fact, you know, you go feel, feel some type of way because I will feel some type of way. You know, I will feel some type of way when someone asks me to do this, asks me to do that. If you could figure out how to do it, if you could figure out other ways to, to not go out, <laughs> to, to, to not make someone else go out their way to do something for you, figure that shit out. Yep. Figure it out. Don't don't mm-hmm. don't ask that person, and you can figure that thing out yourself. You know, it just it just didn't make no sense how it was a whole entire year you've been working at the job, and you don't have a car. 
Hey, you gotta. That's what you gotta speak up. You gotta. I don't you gotta understand tell him, that shit. That's what hey. you gotta speak up. Be like, yo, your rent. <laughs> your rent. Here, you can't save three thousand dollars to go buy a, a putt putt car to get to work. <laughs> you can. That's three thousand dollars to buy something from the junkyard. Your, your rent. Your this rent. Is, rent this, was... is, this is when people take advantage of you. This is when people know, like, oh, this person is a yes man. So I'm going to ask him to 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 take me this place, and he's he's probably not giving you no gas. He's nope. probably, he's probably uh, like, he probably even every, even every if he do, if he break down right now, he would not he would not fix the parts because because <laughs> just just you going out your way to I, I agree I agree with you. You're right. You're right about that. Like, oh, you make me right. I'm gonna fix your this, shit. This, yeah, this our car. This our car that's <laughs> in the shop. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's not he's not gonna do that. He's not gonna say that. He's not gonna he say that. Say so, so that's, Nigga, that's your me. car in the shop. Nigga, yeah. Our car is in the shop. Yeah. That's what I that's how I call him. I'll call him just like that. He's gonna be like, yo, our, uh, um, hey, thank, hey, thank you for the ride. Thank you for the ride, but I got the next dude. Next yeah, I got the he next got dude. The next, he got the next co-worker. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, you going that route too? You going that route too? Hey, let me go in the car with you. What happened to Jill? Oh, his car broke down. You ain't helping fix it? Nah, man. <laughs> Had this tall, this tall African guy at, at, at my uh, school where I was getting my CDL. Like six eight, six nine. I don't know how tall that guy was. He was a giant. He, he first day, first day I met him. Hey, yo, man, you you think you give me a ride? You think you give me a ride home tonight? I was like, well, you, <laughs> where you live at, dog? He's like, uh, I live, I live down in Missouri. I was like, nah, nah, dog, dog I got things. <laughs> Can't give you no right. Come on, man. You know, you you headed in that direction. You right, you right. I am, but nah. Look, the minute, I got the minute, to do. I got the minute, the minute start being nice, the minute you start being nice, now nah, yeah. they make it into a habit. They make it they to make habit. into a habit. Like, just like with me, like 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 I know my car is messed up, you know, and 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 my manager, I used to ask her to give me rides, but. I know for a fact that that me me keep asking her, it's, it's going to annoy her eventually. Uh-huh. It annoyed uh, one of my homeboys, and he stopped answering the phone with this other guy. So, so me, 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 <laughs> me personally, I I I tell myself, I'm going to figure out. If I have to catch the bus to where I need to go, I catch the bus to where I need to go until I get back on my feet, you know? Because I'm not abusive. I'm not, ab- not going to abuse somebody. Somebody nice this, you know, because because Uber no. Uber is expensive as fuck. It is, but you gotta understand, that. Junior. Me and Joe watched one of our homeboys when we used to work at this job together. We had this one guy uh, for a ride every fucking day. I remember ooh. we talking about we talking about how Ty um Ray used to keep asking Ty Ray for a ride, and at first time I was like, hell yeah, I got you, I got you, and then all of a sudden Ray was coming to work late. And he was like telling Tyron, well, why ain't you even picking up the phone? No, I was tired. I was sleeping, man. You know, all of a sudden making all these excuses. And I'm like, Tyron, why don't you just tell him? You don't want to pick him up anymore. Oh, exactly. Simple as that. Wait, 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 that, wait, wait, that wait. That's that yes man syndrome, man. Wait, wait, wait. He wasn't. He wasn't. Because he, 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 he was getting to work on time. Damn. Damn. Yeah, he said, he, no, no, no. You know he didn't. He, okay, so 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 he so he would he would pick him up. He he would he didn't want to pick him up. But when he didn't pick him up that day, he would be on work on time. The other dude would be late. That's how it was. He didn't want to pick him up, so he just didn't answer the phone. Whenever he called, he answered the phone. But he seen him at work, which made it worse. <laughs> he seen him at work. But that's that pussy shit. That shit didn't add up. He, he, that's he that figured out another one. He figured out. Yeah, no, he really did. You know, if you got a battle like that, Junior, you better you better do the opposite. You better stand up because and if you're a guy too, you got an annoying guy that calls you up every day. Hey, take me to work. Hey, pick me up. Here's the worst. Can you pick me up to go to work? And then can you drop me off when we get off of work? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, let's 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 all right. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shut I'm not gonna hit this really bad. But when I was going through my situation, all right. And I had to take Lyft and Uber to and from work, right? I was getting tired of doing that because I didn't have enough money to save up because the distance per week and how much I was making at that time, I was pretty much going to only be able to save $100. No, $200 every two weeks, right? And I needed this car ASAP. So one of my coworkers, 
I wanted to see who lived around the area. And one of my coworkers, he did. He said, yo, I'll drop you home off in the morning, but you got to find your way to get to work. That's what he told me. That's, all, that's what he told me. He said, I'll drop, I'll, 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 pick, I'll, I'll drop you home, but you got to find your way to work. I said, all I need is a way back home. That's it. You ain't even got to worry about that. So for three, so for three months, three months, three, no, three or four months, he dropped me home consistently all the time up until I told him, yo, I texted him. You don't have to, you know, no, when we was done, I was like, you don't got to drop me. You don't got to drop me home. He's like, what happened? My car's outside. That's all I told him. <laughs> you was doing something. Because I was doing something. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So as far as like, I don't want to bash everybody to tell everybody like, yo, don't do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But you got to make sure if you're trying to handle a situation that you handle it. You know, so then they don't be like, oh, he's just using me for that. But I mean, yeah, he's 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 being nice and helping you out. But at the same time, it's like, yo, like, get your shit done, though. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just get yeah, that shit yeah. done. You save me three, three to four months and then you'll get your car. All right. I'm going to give you three, four months. Get your car. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you don't know if he's still going to be there in three, four months. Right. Because he working, too, just like how you working. Yeah. You see, you see, you see what you did? You got to think about all that. You looked at his character, Joe, and you saw, all right, this is a good guy. Because consistently, I give him props. He still kept doing. And and you you were like, okay, I can't take this guy for granted. Let me do mm -hmm. something to get my shit together because I don't want to be the person he snapped on one day. Fuck, man. You're like, yo, why, why are you so quiet today? Why are you not saying hi to a dick? Why are you not talking to him? Man, fuck, I got <laughs> shit to do. Man, I got to fucking take you home and shit. You don't want to be that person he snaps on. I'm late to a date with my, my girlfriend because yo, I, blah, blah, blah. Who wants to be in that position? You know what I mean? I remember, I remember the time I worked, the time I got off at, at the time was fucking <laughs> 8, 9 in the morning where everybody going to work. I was going home. Appreciate that guy for, for doing that because uh, it no, comes he, back. Because I, I give people rides too. But the ones that I can tell, like, I, you know, make sure when you give somebody a ride or you're doing something for somebody, you observe their character. Like, have a good, <laughs> thorough analysis. Like, look at this person. Like, like that okay. tall guy, I looked at him. I was like, yeah, this guy a joke. He's not even going to last in fucking uh, CDL school. I was right about that. Everyone was laughing. Right, but how do you know this guy? I was like, he's lazy. We're, we're all learning about the fucking truck and he's staring at the sky with his fucking pain in his stick. Get your hey. fucking tall ass over here and learn how to drive this truck. The fuck are you, you doing? Still, and then you gonna you ask me for a ride? You're not even taking this shit serious. I'm not giving you no fucking ride. You're a waste of an investment. You're gonna pay the school back, be broke as fuck, and, and that's exactly what happened. He was just lazy. He was just lazy. I was like, yeah, yeah, I could just tell. I pay attention to everything. Like, I, I got that shit from my mom and my dad. Like, they could rip somebody to shreds. That's what, that's where I get it from. Like, you, 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 if you're a piece of shit, I'll tell very, very early. It doesn't take me that long. I don't know. I just a sense that I have, Junior. I don't know. Because think about it. If you're not a yes man, you're a good guy, you have great character, good integrity, and you're not no pussy, you can tell somebody who ain't about shit. Because now you'll feel that little pussy spirit coming next to yours. And you're like, ooh, uh-uh. Now nah, this spirit gotta go. This motherfucker gotta go. This motherfucker is a piece of shit. I can I I can tell. Talking shit about their homeboys behind their back when they were supposed to stand up to them and tell them what they what they telling you. You know all these uh, <laughs> pussies. I just I can't stand I can't stand niggas that are just scared, dog. You gotta be tough, man. You gotta you gotta be tough. Fuck that. Uh, that so, the, the more of the story, the more more everything. You know, you have to just stand up to yourself. Know, know who you are, you know, know your worth, and Yo, do not let go the camera, man. Man. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, what's going on with the camera?" That's it. Nah, I was, I was playing back the charger, but yeah. So, so the moral just, just make sure you know who you are. Like, like if you have to wake up in the morning, you know, go for that morning run. You know, just to clear your mind, read that book that's going to give you some more knowledge, you know, gain as much knowledge as you can, you know, try, try to, try to be that man, try to be that man that, that, that you want to be. So that way no one could, could, could feel like they have power over you, you know, be great, <laughs> be great, Simple. man. Simple. Simple. Be positive. Hey, Junior, Simple. real quick, 
for everybody. We got a couple minutes left on this, man. What was your resolution with, with, with your girl? What did you tell her? How, how, how was that conversation about, you know, realizing that you are a yes man, and now you're, you were telling us earlier, you, you know, you guys might, you might, you guys might work out, you guys might not, but what, tell, tell us what you did. What, how was that conversation like? Did you do it in person? You did it over the phone? How, how, no, 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 tell, no. Tell us about it. I don't do it over the phone. I'd rather talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, you know, face-to-face. -face. You know, I, I went up to her, you know, I told her, you know, about our situation. We having a, we having a baby together. We have to figure it out. We have, we have, we have to figure it out, you know, like, like me personally, I told her, I don't want to be separate from my child. I don't want to be in one place and then she's another place. I want to be able to raise our child together because I was raised in a childhood where my mom was on, on, on in Haiti and my dad was, mm -hmm. was on one side. So, so I don't mm -hmm. want that same cycle to, to, to come back and, and, and have to deal with the same thing. I want, mm -hmm. I want that love to be, I want that child to see that love like one-on-one, -on -one, you know? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so I'm trying to I'm trying to break all the all the curses, general, oh. generational curses that 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 yeah. I. Yeah, you know, I feel you on that. You gotta break. You gotta break. Hey, so Junior, what what was her response to it, man? What what is she what is she saying? You guys gonna get a place together? Or? She agree with that shit. She can't say no. She, she, she agree. She agree. Um. Yeah, she agree so, to that shit. Of course. So 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 right now, right now we we. We moving in together soon, so so probably like in two three weeks we'll probably move in where wherever she's at, and then um start saving up to get our own bigger place. You know, try for me to be that like that provider. You know, eventually eventually I'm joining that truck business. Eventually I'm getting my CDL like you said because that that money is sweet. That thousand dollars a week that's that's amazing. That's amazing. The bank is not paying nothing like that. <laughs> Nah, it's not <laughs> it's not paying shit. Corrupted not, compared to that, it's not paying nothing. So yeah. so I'm just I'm just waiting like at least eight months, six months in into the like 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 to see her grow and then eventually like okay, now I could leave because now she's she could do certain things that, that she couldn't do when she was a newborn, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got it. yeah, I got you, man. Yeah, but yeah, man, that, that that right there, that was an uncomfortable conversation, but you made it happen. Any man out there um, who, who needs to have that conversation with their girl? Yo, look at the mirror and just ask yourself, look, man, what, what, what is stopping me? Because, because that shit will bother your head all damn day. Fuck, man, she's doing this wrong. Fuck, I'm, I'm not liking this. What? It's gonna interfere with your happiness, dog. Like, and you don't mm -hmm. want to. You don't want nothing to interfere with your happiness. You want to be happy. You know what I mean? You want to be happy. So the moral of the story: all my men out there, man up. Junior, thank you for coming on the show, sharing your fucking story, man. Six months from now, we gonna check up on you to make sure that you are held accountable to everything that you said. You know what I mean? Damn right. That's called me. <laughs> you know I be doing it all the time. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, yeah, for real. But um, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate the love. Hey, like, subscribe, share this podcast with all your friends. This Please. is fucking great content. Please leave reviews. Tell us what we can do better. Tell us what y'all want us to talk about. You know, hit me up on Instagram, Real Talk Real Views, man. Peace, y'all.